Welcome to Dee's Kitchen. We are making a sticky rhubarb pudding today. Uh, finally had some rhubarb in my garden. So six cups. Now we're doubling the recipe. So um, when you look at the link uh, that we have attached it to, that is just for a nine by or eight by eight, nine by nine pan. We're going with a nine by 13. So I doubled everything. So my recipe will be for a nine by 13. The original that the lady has is for a smaller pan, but greased pan, six cups of rhubarb, throw it in the pan. We have two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt. We're throwing in a cup of sugar, third of a cup of brown sugar, teaspoon of um, cinnamon, and two teaspoons of baking powder. I never can remember if it was baking powder or baking soda. So that was baking powder. So anyways, we are putting that all in here. We're gonna mix those all up together. We can easy, this is like your batter layer, I guess you'd call it, for the sticky pudding. And then we are going to add in one and a third cups of melted up butter, slightly cooled. Mix in there a little bit. And then we also have two thirds of a cup of milk with, I can't see my recipe, a teaspoon of cinnamon, throw it in there too. I just put it right in there make it easier. All right, so we're gonna mix this up. We're not gonna use a mixer today because then we, of course, you know, make a lot of noise when we do that. So we're just gonna use a fork. I like my forks, as long as it's not a real thick, thick, thick batter. All right, I'm gonna get that out of my way. I don't like that. It bothers me, it's messy. All right, so we have our rhubarb here. This is pretty much mixed up. I'm going to pour this over the rhubarb now that it's pretty well combined. So this is a real quick, easy recipe. Not sure how good it is, but I had one years ago, a recipe years ago like this, and we loved it. And over the years, I don't know, it came up missing, you could say. So I don't know. So I found this one again. So we're trying this lady's recipe to see if it's similar to the one we had. And you may find mine's modified a little bit because, yeah, you know, I can't follow a recipe very well. I like cinnamon. She didn't have cinnamon in it. I like brown sugar when I make rhubarb stuff. So I substituted some of the sugar with brown sugar. So that is on here. Look how pretty it looks already. Look at that. All right. And a nine by nine just isn't enough. I'm gonna make make a mess and do this for an hour. I want enough to have leftovers. Hair's falling out, I can feel it. All right, so now we have in the next pan here, dirty mess here. I made a mess. We have two cups of powdered sugar and two tablespoons of cornstarch. And we're just gonna mix those together. Kind of fluff them up a little bit. Are you watching your video, buddy? And then we are going to scoop this over top of this. So just kind of, I'm going to just sprinkle it. There's plenty, I guess. We can just dump it on there and then we can spread it around. Oops. I'm going to make a mess. All right. And then for the magic touch, the oven is heated up to 350 right now. And so we will ready to toss it in there for one hour. So make sure you have time for this one. Can you see me? Two cups of water. We're gonna pour it over top of this. It's nice and slow and careful. I'm just kind of pour this over. And there we go. So this is going in the oven, 350, one hour. We will be back to show you what it looks like when it comes out in an hour. So thanks for stopping by, see you in a bit. We are back and we have our sticky rhubarb pudding and it looks done to me. So we're gonna poke it. Oh, it looks good. It's barely, barely sticking, a little brown on the edges there. Looks wonderful. So it's a little hot, so we probably shouldn't 
cut any yet, but actually, do you want to take a picture of that first before I cut in it, or doesn't it matter? Zay likes to get the thumbnail picture of it, so um, we will stop and we will just take a picture. I was just, well, let me just hack a piece out here. And you could serve this with ice cream or um, Cool Whip. Look how gorgeous that looks. Look at that. I'm gonna put some of this gooey, and this will thicken up, I'm sure, once it cools down a little bit. But we'll uh, put a little bit in the bowl here. Oh, yeah. Looks yummy. So, thanks for stopping by Dee's Kitchen, and hopefully you'll make some sticky rhubarb pudding, since you probably have rhubarb in your garden, too. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.